Once upon a time, in a small town called Willowbrook, there stood an abandoned carnival that had long been forgotten by the world. It was said that this place had once been a hub of joy and laughter, but tragedy had befallen it many years ago. The townspeople whispered stories of strange occurrences and eerie sightings, warning others to stay away from the desolate fairgrounds. Despite the warnings, a group of friends named Emily, Jake, Sarah, and Alex had grown curious about the abandoned carnival. They had heard tales of its mysterious past and couldn't resist the temptation to explore its decaying rides and empty stalls. With a mixture of excitement and trepidation, they made a pact to venture into the forgotten land, unaware of the darkness that awaited them. On a misty Saturday morning, the four friends met near the entrance of the carnival. Tall weeds and overgrown grass whispered secrets as they passed through the rusty iron gates. The once vibrant attractions now stood dilapidated and forlorn, as if frozen in time. The air felt heavy with an otherworldly presence, and an unsettling silence filled the atmosphere. Emily, the fearless leader of the group, took the first steps forward. Her eyes gleamed with anticipation as she led the way through the rows of abandoned games. Jake, the joker of the group, cracked jokes to mask his unease, but his voice wavered ever so slightly. Sarah clung to Alex's arm, her anxiety palpable as they meandered through the eerie carnival. As they approached a dilapidated carousel, the wind picked up, sending a chill down their spines. The carousel creaked and groaned, its faded horses seemingly frozen mid-gallop. Suddenly, a soft, haunting melody filled the air, stirring the friends' hearts with a mixture of nostalgia and dread. They exchanged nervous glances but pressed on, their curiosity overpowering their growing unease. They wandered deeper into the carnival, their footsteps echoing through the empty corridors. Tattered posters of clowns with wicked grins stared down at them, their eyes seemingly following their every move. Within the funhouse, warped mirrors distorted their reflections, distorting their sense of reality. The friends found themselves lost in a labyrinth of mirrors and illusions, their panic rising as they struggled to find an exit. The atmosphere grew thicker, suffocating them with a presence they could not see but felt deep within their souls. As they stumbled upon a dimly lit Ferris wheel, the air turned frigid. They sensed a presence lurking in the shadows, an entity feeding off their fears. Each of their deepest anxieties materialized before their eyes, manifesting as grotesque figures that taunted their vulnerabilities. Emily's fear of heights paralyzed her as she saw herself suspended atop the Ferris wheel, unable to descend. Jake's fear of darkness engulfed him as shadows snaked around his body, threatening to consume him whole. Sarah's fear of abandonment echoed through her mind as she imagined herself all alone in the desolate carnival. Alex's fear of the unknown tortured him as he faced the ghostly apparitions of the carnival's forgotten souls. But in the midst of their torment, a flicker of bravery ignited within their hearts. Emily, trembling but resolute, forced herself to climb down from the imaginary heights. Jake, with quivering hands, summoned the strength to reach out and embrace the darkness, discovering it was not as formidable as he had imagined. Sarah, clinging tightly to her friends, found solace in their unwavering presence, dispelling her sense of abandonment. Alex, facing the ghosts head-on, realized they were nothing more than echoes of the past, powerless against his resolve. Together, the friends faced their fears, unraveling the sinister power that had held them captive. With each step forward, the carnival's malevolent grip loosened until it vanished entirely. The shadows retreated, and the haunting melody ceased, replaced by a quiet stillness. As they emerged from the depths of the abandoned carnival, Emily, Jake, Sarah, and Alex felt a newfound bond forged through their shared ordeal. The weight of the carnival's darkness lifted, replaced by a sense of triumph and resilience. They walked away from the forgotten fairgrounds, forever changed by their encounter with the sinister force that had lurked in the shadows. The abandoned carnival remained a haunting memory etched in their minds, a reminder of the strength they had found within themselves. And as they returned to the safety of their homes, they vowed to cherish the light in their lives and never let their fears consume them again. For in the face of darkness, they had discovered the power of friendship and the resilience of the human spirit.